Oh man, <laughs> just got running three miles. I'm still sweaty. I don't think the camera's gonna capture it, but I want to quickly make this video. Then I'm gonna go and relax in the tub. Then it's time to make some more money. Cause you know, I have, I time everything to be efficient. You know, I work out and jog when it's bad hours to make money. Then I make money during the best hours to make money. And then I sleep when it's kind of, yeah, so. But these motherfucker, wait, let me make sure I'm recording the whole screen. Okay, perfect. So these motherfuckers, man, ay, 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 like you can lead a you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So this dude used to be known as Wilson, which I have a feeling he might be the John Wilson that I grew up that I grew up with that I've known since I was five. Actually, no, because he would he would just tell me in person that he's seen my videos, but. I don't know, maybe they're related. Maybe they're long lost cousins or something. Nonetheless, this dude used to be named Wilson. Now he's named himself off of some Marvel shit. The Thing 49. Or DC. I don't really know the difference between DC and Marvel. Nerds don't attack me. So he asked me how has my vision improvement been going. And man, last year I made a video saying my vision has gotten better. The shit that I see now doesn't even compare to what I was seeing a year ago when I made that video. But uh, he said that he's been trying to improve his, his for two and a half years. And of course, why? and keep in mind, he fucking posted this shit, the, these comments on the video where I said, go into the people who poisoned you in the first place for a cure is stupid, right? He, he, he comments this on that video, so he should have seen this video and the other video he originally commented on where I talked about this. He should get it by now, but he doesn't. And Wilson, man, I'm not making this video to, to be mean to you any more than necessary, okay? But, so he proceeds to say, oh man, I, uh, I went to man for knowledge and I'm flabbergasted that man poisoned me even further. What do I do, right? Are you using a positive mindset to improve your vision? Listen, man, check this out. At the end of the day, it's all energy. So positive energy creates positive results and you and all the energy that you put out eventually returns to you. I've explained this in multiple videos, but it goes even beyond that, and I'm gonna break it down even further here. So me being me, I said you went to the people who ruined your vision in the first place for a cure. Of course, none of, the, none of that garbage is gonna work. I got most of those garbage methods from this guy on the internet, going to man for knowledge, especially random bozos on the internet. Never heard of them. If I understand you correctly from the video where you talked about it, you said it's about your mental state. Is it as simple as thinking positively or is it more to it than that? So I can't be fucked to find his original comment because I've gotten a lot of comments since then, since I made that video a year ago. But essentially what I told him is, are you beginning to see why you shouldn't go to man for knowledge? A blind man cannot teach you how to see. From what I remember in our previous conversation, you're the depressed guy who wants to die. Because he, he said he was depressed and I made a video about it. And I basically, I don't remember what the video was called, but if I find it, I'm going to tag it at the end like I always do, right? Essentially in that video, I explain that if you want to live then the millions of organisms that are inside your body and on your skin and in your hair follicles, if you want to live, then all the living organisms in your body also want to live and they'll take care of your body and repair your body and evolve your body to accommodate the situations that you need, right? The main reason I started running again as well as working out again is because I'm evolving my body. I mean, look at that. I'm getting my striations back. You feel me? I'm at 11% body fat right now at 170. A year ago, I was 170 at 16% body fat. And when I get my next 
and body scan. For those of y'all that say I'm anti-data, I keep track of all the numbers, right? And vice versa, if you're depressed and you tell your body to die, it will. But hold on, I'm gonna get to that, right? So long as death remains your core thought, the organisms within your body will not try to live. This includes the living, or in your case, dying, organisms that are responsible for your vision. Your core thought must be life if you want your body to continue living. If I remember correctly, I explained this in the video where you commented you were depressed on. Your inner voice already told you this. But it appears you want to heal your vision while also remaining depressed and seeking death. It doesn't work that way, buddy. You have to pick. Do you want to live or do you want to remain depressed and die? Whatever you decide, the living organisms inside your body will follow. And you might want to decide this now while you're young. And I got even more pissed off when I saw that he was arguing with that. Now, this beefy fucker, you know, I, I'm, I mean, I fucking, let me see if I fucking, uh, let me see if I fucking, because I, I have a lot of people blocked. I don't even remember, is his name fucking beefy on here? Oh, yeah, fucking, let's go to our messages, man. <laughs> Hey, look at the last messages I sent to this fucker. Still uses Google and Wikipedia for research and decision-making purposes. And look, if you fucking look at his comments, look at the shit that he's regurgitating. Google and Wikipedia. This dude has a PhD in Google and Wikipedia, man. Like, the dude, the, the, these people never fucking learn, right? Changes the subject whenever he knows he's done something stupid. And, I mean, look, look at this, right? Look at this. I mentioned that he's only typing this garbage because he doesn't want to admit that the drugs he takes on a regular basis has negative effects on him. He wants to believe it's the diet. I blocked this guy for a reason. And look, he doesn't talk about what I was just talking about. He starts talking about fucking seed oils and where, where like, I don't know what the fuck he's blabbing about, man. And then, then he tried to say that, like, and I'm just like, bro, listen, man, we live close to each other. Know what I'm saying? We can get that blood work done, and I'll post on the video, man. Yeah, you know I mean, it is what it is. A dude who's an alcoholic trying to talk about health, man, oh man, anecdotal proof that everyday humans are devolving, right? And he still watches Toontown videos. And it, it just, it astonishes me, man. These people went out into nature and somehow <laughs> learned nothing. <laughs> Fuck that, you actually regressed. And, you know... His instinct told him what to do. And yeah, man, I told him. And look at the date that I told him, right? This was like six months ago. I told him to unsubscribe from my channel and forget that my videos exist. And do not contact me again in the future. Both your instinct as well as mine have told us exactly what will happen. Make peace with your future. This will be the last time we speak. And, you know, I intended for that to be the last time we spoke because I didn't think he would come back on my channel after I told him to fuck off. The main reason all of this pisses me off, right, is because these people just don't get it, man. They don't want to get it at the end of the day. That's what it is. These, like, let me, let me just read why I said that, right? You got these motherfuckers talking about, is it the diet? Is it a positive mentality? Did I do enough burpees this morning? And now this guy's blabbing, and then this dude posted a fucking link of a chart that shows the difference between herbivores, omnivores, carnivores, and fruitivores. Like, these people think it's the food. These people think it's everything except the fucking obvious. Listen to me. Let me read the last comment and then, oh my fucking God, man. I went on the run to calm down and these guys are pissing me off again. Speaking of fruit, good old strawberry. <sighs> and look at this, going to man for knowledge again. It's like a cycle with, that's why cattle are so fucking easy to predict. 
That's why you can dominate these people in PvP games. That's why you can dominate these people in the workforce. That's why you can take their fucking girlfriends from them. Because cattle are universally predictable. The second a motherfucker chooses death, they become very easy to read and predict. But just look at this shit, right? Went back to, to man for knowledge again, and he thinks it's the diet. So this is gonna be my last time addressing this guy in video and in the comments. If he doesn't get it after watching this, he's never gonna get it. But at the end of the day, he does get it. His inner voice has already told him what he needs to do. But for whatever reason, he wants to be depressed and die while still having his vision? You gotta pick one, buddy. Do you wanna live and improve your vision and evolve, or do you wanna be depressed and die and have no vision? Pick one, right? That's what it's all about, man. Because at the end of the day, you become what you think about the most. If you think about life and you like living, your body and the living organisms inside your body and the energy that you attract around you is going to reflect that, okay? Versus if you choose depression and death, you're going to attract depressed dead people. You're going to attract people that want to die. You're going to attract... And you're, the living organisms inside of your body that's responsible for keeping your body healthy and running and evolving when you're not consciously thinking about it, it's going to slowly reflect the core thoughts that the master computer up here is telling it. How the fuck do you expect the living organisms inside your eyeballs, right? Do, do, like how do you expect your vision to improve if you want to die and return to the place where there is no vision? Honestly, man, I don't need to say anything else other than that, man. Before you start worrying about the fucking diet, before you start worrying about the fucking burpees, before you start worrying about all this other shit, before you try to throw a bunch of other chemicals and food in the mix of your ingredients, right? Before you come up with some convoluted plan to improve your vision, calm down. Sit the fuck down, relax, meditate if you have. That's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go relax in the tub and meditate, right? Just calm down and relax and decide what it is you want, man. Do you want to live or do you want to die? You should decide this first before you, because the thing is, man, you got to cure your depression. I'm going to just be blunt and say this. Google and Wikipedia is going to tell you that's impossible. And some doctors are going to try to give you poison, medication to, to help you not feel your depression, right? So the odds are stacked against you, man. But if you want to improve your vision, you first have to eliminate those thoughts of death from your mind. And before you can eliminate those thoughts of death from your mind, you have to kill your depression. No pun intended, right? How do you get rid of your depression? Well, first, you have to look internally and decide what's making you depressed. Why don't you enjoy life? And only you can fix that. I can't help you. No, no, no other person on the outside can help you fix what's damaging you on the inside. Just figure out what's making you depressed, cure that, right? And then go from there. And my inner voice is telling me that I'm beginning to say too much, so it's time to end the fucking video. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, why the fuck are you still on my channel? Shout out to Beefy. Fuck you, Beefy. See y'all in the next video. Peace.